Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Revs Okubo and you are so so welcome. If this is your first time tuning in on this channel, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. This channel is all about skincare tips, skincare tricks and everything you need to learn in your skincare journey. Okay, so if this is what you are looking for, kindly click on the subscribe button just by your right, like and share this video, invite your friends to be part of this wonderful channel. Okay, so today I'll be talking about the things you actually need uh, when you are making your black soup. All right, so if you are in Nigeria, you know that when you're making a goosey soup, for instance, you need to have everything you need to make a goosey soup, right? So, same thing goes for black soup, all right? Now, there are some things I'll be listing out for you right now, so you can just uh, write them down, get a pen and paper, write them down. Uh, I'll be discussing about some few things also. The rest, you can add as well just check online, okay? You can check online for them what they do, okay? I'll just be listing them so you can you know just um write them down so the first thing on the list is dilutants okay so what are dilutants dilutants are uh ingredients that you use in dissolving your blood soap okay you have to use some things to dissolve it you don't just add powders add oils and that's that you have to dissolve it okay so um i'll just list a few things on that um, dilutants and uh, we have uh, distilled water you can actually use distilled water to dissolve your black soap or you can use rose water to dissolve uh, your black soap uh, you can as well use um, honey okay to dissolve your black soap all right so but then I was still going to talk about honey uh, later on in the video so the next one uh, on the list is humectants all right so humectants are uh, items or uh, ingredients that help to moisturize the skin okay so you cannot do without them right we need our skin to be moisturized to be glowy and beautiful okay so i will just list a few things that are under uh, humectants the first one is glycerin you actually need glycerin in your black soap all right so you need glycerin you need hyaluronic acid and uh, you need propylene glycol now propylene glycol is a very good um, humectant that you actually need in your product what this does is that it helps the product penetrate uh, into your skin deep into your skin it helps it to work uh, faster and penetrate very well in your skin okay so that's propelling like oh i cannot do without propelling like oh i added my creams i added my soap it is a very very good humectant okay so the next one on the list is alanton um humectants uh alanton is a very good product as well and uh, we also have sodom uh pca we also have honey uh, honey is very very good like i said you cannot do without honey in your black soap it is very very good it also helps in moisturizing the skin giving you this clear glowy skin so that's also very good we also have aloe vera i can as well remember what there was a time i had this um, white patches on my face it was caused by um over exfoliating so i had to use aloe fresh aloe vera and it was very very it came out very well it's a very good uh, moisturizing agent it's also a healing agent okay so aloe vera is also a very 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 good uh, healing um, item okay and we also have a uh, sorbitol okay so that is that for humectant there are other things also uh, that you can add to this list please 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 when i say humectants i don't mean all these things i listed are the, all the things you just add into your black so that's not what i meant okay you yeah, just pick some few things here and add them into your black soap all right doesn't mean that it's everything i listed that you add to your black soap okay so that's that so let's talk about carrier oils carrier oils are called carrier oils for a reason okay why are they called carrier oils carrier oils are meant to carry uh what they call essential oils into deep into the skin that's why they are called carrier oils. I hope i've been able to explain that very well okay so we also have um carrier oils that are very good for the skin we have sunflower oil we have jojoba oil we have rose hip oil we have argan oil we have uh, evening primrose we have avocado oil we have carrot oil we have almond oil you know, we have a lot of beautiful beautiful uh carrier oils but you need to be very careful because there are oils that are used for oily skin and there are oils that are good for only dry skin or combination skin so you need to be very careful uh to 
in selecting your uh, carrier oils okay so uh, maybe later on in the next video I'm going to be teaching you I'll be teaching you about the different skin types and the oils that go with them or you can as well just check the comedogenic uh, rating chart online okay so you can know the oils that can work for your type of skin okay so moving on we also have uh, essential oils all right so essential oils are very very good for your skin all right they are very very good for your skin however they are very strong so they need to be diluted okay and that's where the carrier oils come in like i said before carrier oils help the essential oils by carrying them deep into the skin all right so essential oils are pretty strong so you need to be very careful when you are using them okay you just need you just have to add a few drops and some you just need to a little but the carrier oils need to be more than the essential oils okay so uh let, i'll just give you some few list of um essential oils that i've written down so you can you know pick the ones you want uh we have aloe vera essential oil we have duranium i hope i got that spelling right essential oil we also have tea tree oil now tea tree oil is very good for people with people with acne prone skin okay it is very very good uh for people with acne okay it clears dark spots it clears uh sunburn it clears it clears it does a lot of things okay it nourishes the skin so if you are acne prone this particular essential oil is for you all right so the next one is yelang yelang essential oil this is a very very good uh essential oil you need it okay so very very good uh we also have chamomile essential oil we have calendula with lemon essential oils okay so you can look up uh different essential oils you can add to your product that will give you amazing amazing effect okay so the next one on my list is antioxidants okay so we also have resveratrol resveratrol is another very good antioxidant you can as well incorporate we also have flavonoid uh, flavonoid is a very very good antioxidant also so just check online you know and read about all these things and then you know the one to use for your product okay so like i said vitamin c and vitamin a do not go well together and vitamin b and vitamin c do not go well together okay likewise vitamin b and vitamin a do not go well together so what you need to do is that whenever you're mixing anything you should be um, sure that the two um, vitamins i just mentioned do not clash in the same uh, product okay or you can use them in different products all right, you get what I mean. Also, vitamin E is another very good uh, antioxidant. It's very, very good. It glows your skin. It gives this moisturized uh, look. Okay, so and you, it can go with any of the vitamins uh, I just mentioned, either retinol or um, um, niacinamide or vitamin C. Okay, or ascorbic acid or whatever uh, vitamin you are using okay so the next one on my list is germicide uh, if you go to all these organic stores they give you this um, ball that looks kind of brownish um, in color and it's called anti reaction balls uh, that's very good it's used for preventing of rashes or acne that might come up uh, as a result of using the the product okay uh, so you, you need that also you can also look for this soap uh, uh, Mekako Mekako uh, soap it's a very good uh, germicide soap that you can also incorporate into your black soap all right so and we also have a uh, has let's not forget a uh, 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 has a uh, uh, acids okay they are very very good they are actually uh, used for exfoliating your skin okay so there are some as acids you can add to your black soap acids that are under uh, uh has okay we have uh glycolic acid we have lactic acid uh under bha we have uh, salicylic acid we also have malic acid uh, these acids are not um harsh per se if you know how to use them in the right percentage or in the right proportion uh they are not harsh they're just called acids but do not be scared when you are using them okay just know how to use them in the right uh, proportion okay so that's that for the things you need for your black soup okay so 
if you are yet to subscribe to this channel what are you waiting for kindly click hit that subscribe button like and share this video invite your friends uh, to be part of this wonderful channel okay and also you can leave your comments in the comment section if there's anything you want to ask me kindly leave your comments in the comment section i would definitely uh, reply to your messages all right thank you so very much for watching and i will see you in my next video thank you for now